my latest book, The Hormone Shift, Balancing Your Hormones Through Midlife and Menopause, has honestly been in my head for a very long period of time. I have been working with women and their hormones for over 15 years in my practices at Center Spring MD. But even before that, I had my own hormone journey, my own hormone story that led me to this profound understanding of how critical hormones are to our entire bodies. If I look back at the age of 28 or so, my entire journey in integrative medicine and functional medicine was accidental. Many of you know this already. I was an emergency room doctor, an adrenaline junkie, ready to take on the world and do every procedure that was out there when it came to saving lives and really living in sort of that adrenaline rush. But my health took a toll. And the end of that story of my health and what I uncovered was it was my hormones that were forcing me to make a change. I found out after five years of trying to dig on my own and another five years of symptoms that were unexplained that preceded all of that, that I had PCOS, I had hypothyroidism, and everyone kept telling me that I was fine or I was stressed or it was all in my head. Well, none of that ultimately was true. And the profound connection between my stress, which was real, my gut health, my hormones, and my nutrition was ultimately what solved the puzzle for me and turned me into the superpowered engine, which really wanted to do so many different things. I had the energy, I had the drive, I had the vision, I had the clarity to really move my life forward. So the hormone shift probably began back then without my knowing it. But as I've continued to work in this space and I've listened to the stories of women of all ages, honestly, whether it's our young women or women in perimenopause or women going through menopause or women that are post-menopausal, their hormones and their hormone journey ultimately defined their lives. It determined if they were going to get married if they were going to have children, if they were going to be able to sustain energetic relationships, if they were attracting the right things in their lives, or if they were retreating with a feeling of shame and hopelessness and regret. I know those feelings. I've experienced them too. I experienced them, I now say fortunately, over 20 years ago, because it gave me the empathy to understand how each of you out there are feeling. Our hormones are driving our chemistry. And until we understand that in the medical model, in the exam room, and for each of us individually, we are going to continue this uphill climb of trying to be our best selves. Women today struggle with anxiety. They struggle with weight gain, belly fat, with trouble sleeping, with libido that impacts their relationships and marriages. They're losing their temper. They are thinking about quitting their jobs or changing careers. But before you do any of that, you've got to get your hormones balanced because they can fundamentally impact your entire being. We've got the science that now proves that. We know that hormones impact brain health, how we think, how we feel, how we make decisions, ADD, ADHD. Hormones are impacting our relationships and how we interact with others. So instead of being labeled as batty or hormonal or that time of the month or the eye roll emojis or just sort of the side eye and all the other things that women today experience, how about we take action and really try to understand what's happening with our hormones? 80% of women, all women, I'm talking about all ages, all demographics, all races, all socioeconomic sort of uh, markers, if you want to look at them, all women, 80% are experiencing, right as we're talking today, some sort of hormone imbalance. I know this is true. I can look at my 15-year-old daughter and know that she has PCOS. I can look at myself and know I'm in that wavering place between perimenopause and menopause. I can look at my postmenopausal mother and see the symptoms that she's experiencing because she's hormone depleted. All of that to say our hormones are real and they have real impact on our bodies. 80% of women have some sort of hormone imbalance, but almost 50% of women are dismissed in the exam room. We call this medical gaslighting. This has got to change, guys. We've got to start a movement. We've got to change the narrative around women's health and hormones. And we have to understand that our hormones are fundamental to our being and can change the way our lives play out. This is why I wrote The Hormone Shift because I want each of you to understand the intricate connection of your hormones to all five of your bodies, 
your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic body. You have to have a plan. And the only way to do that effectively is to blend the best of Eastern and Western medicine together. Eastern medicine honored these different bodies and these different dimensions. They really placed a lot of value, not just on hormones, but on the power of food and nutrition and gut health and hormone balancing. My Chinese medicine mentors looking at me back 20, 25 years ago would wag their finger at me and say, no chi, you have no chi, where's your chi? And I had no idea what they were talking about. But what they were essentially trying to tell me is that my energy was weak, that I didn't have the foundational elements to build hormones and to be balanced. I needed fat and protein. I needed B vitamins and magnesium. And only only then could we really have a hormone conversation. So Eastern medicine provided the gateway to understanding this holistic approach to hormone balancing. While Western medicine provides the technology, we can measure hormones, we can check them, we can understand where you are at any given moment in your hormone journey. What I want for all of us is to own and understand our hormones. And then as we graduate from that, to own and understand how they impact the many different dimensions of our health. If we can master that, that is the ultimate empowerment equation. So that's why I wrote The Hormone Shift. I wanted to change the narrative around women's health, around what we're talking about when it comes to hormones. I want to remove the stigma of women thinking that there's nothing they can do about their hormones or that they can't check their hormones or that their hormones are a static point in time that needs no intervention from the other systems of their body. I hope you pick up a copy of this book, The Hormone Shift. I hope you join me on this hormone journey and join me in the movement to change the narrative around women's health. If you'd like a copy of The Hormone Shift, it is available for pre-order everywhere books are sold. Thank you all for listening and watching this episode of Superwoman Wellness. I'll see you guys next time.